Okay, uh, so thank you for having me. Um, I know we all are looking forward for the drinks, so I'll be talking quicker. And if I'm still too, too slow, just yell at me. Uh, <laughs> ten minutes is it's good. So, <laughs> um, Jim just made me feel old, like I remember Red Hat 4, which has been like ten years before, uh, the Fedora switch, not not really, but somehow. So I'm Matthias, I've been around for some while and I'm doing um, mostly OpenStack stuff, but also other stuff um, with uh, which I'm going to talk about here. So this is going to be an update on the Ops tool SIG, but I'll, I will be also mentioning other SIGs as well. So who's familiar with this SIG process to get you wake, wake up here? One. Two, awesome, three. I'll be asking afterwards. Um, so um, when we introduced OpenStack, um, it is about managing a huge um, infrastructure. And we thought operators would have an idea what they are doing or what they are running. And OpenStack is going to be deployed on a huge pile of hardware. So we were expecting operators already did this before, like running a large infrastructure, and they have some monitoring in place to be sure their services are running. But it turned out at least some of them asked us, um, how do we know what we are running or if it's still running and so on. So we uh, put together a suit of tools uh, to do exactly the thing, like monitor things if they are working or centralize logging and so on. So this talk is about this and I'll be looking at performance monitoring in a bit. So what we have included in the um, tool, oh, um, yeah, so the intention or in the description of this SIG, we have the word of we are intending to support operators in their second day tasks. First day would be deploying OpenStack. And the ops tools SIG aims to provide a piece of the bigger puzzle in Red Hat OpenStack. But it's not only useful in the OpenStack context, but also if, if you're a tr tr traditional operator somewhere, um, you would might to, to, to have a look at the, the tools here. You might also have seen this bigger picture here, like we have for all projects we have um, as a product, we ha also have a upstream or something freely available, like we already heard from the OS uh, RDO folks, uh, it, is a it is a distribution taking OpenStack, open packaging this up, and at the end it will end up in the OpenStack platform packages. And we have multiple other um, uh, comparable um, uh, relationships here. So if we are looking now at the ops tools stuff, I, I just mentioned the OpenStack to RDO to OSB workflow. Um, we also have the cloud SIG under CentOS. Um, apparently, I missed the relationship or the exact relationship between RDO and cloud SIG. So why do, do we have two and not one? But that's a different uh, story. Um, for example, I'm uh, looking at, the, at a single package out of the ops tools out of the bigger ops tools stack, um, we are taking CollectD from the CollectD upstream, building it downstream, for example, in the CentOS ops tools repository. And others are taking these um, using the description provided by the OpenStack Collar project to build containers out of that. And it will land finally in OSP. 
um, the CentOS Ops Tools um, repository somehow merges or is being pushed to the OSP Ops Tools thing. However, the um, color dist um, description for uh, building the pe um, containers is the same. Also, the fine folks from the Overt community are also taking the builds from the CentOS Ops Tools SIG and building the, uh, using the packages for their Overt um, um, monitoring. And the same thing finally lands in Rev. Um, I'm, oh, and finally, um, both the CentOS Ops Tools and the um, Cloud Stick both um, rely, for example, on Cupid. And um, this is where why um, I proposed the CentOS Messaging SIG to provide the Cupid pack pa uh, packages and also Rabbit and so on um, in, in a way that we don't have to rely on Apple. Um, the packages from the CentOS messaging SIG could be ending up in the Red Hat AMQ product or the other way around. So this basically gets back to the thing or what, what Jim already mentioned is CentOS and upstream for RHEL or the other way around or is who's upstream for what. But there's clearly a, a connection here. So for the ops tools, we have something included for centralized logging. We are collecting, we are in, the other way around, we are installing packages to collect logs. In this case, it's FluentD, but it could be our syslog. And the logs are sent to Elasticsearch, and you could do some beautiful pictures in uh, Kibana. Uh, we've heard the uh, usage of uh, the Elsjack before, but instead of um, Logstash, we are using Fluid in, in this case. Um, then we are using or providing packages for availability monitoring. In this case, it's uh, Sensu. Um, it could be something else, but we found out uh, this is um, somewhat lightweight and also easy to understand. You see some probes. You could click on the probes, and you see directly what failed. And uh, in performance monitoring, this is what I'm going to be uh, or do to stay a bit longer. We are using CollectD. I've mentioned that this already. Uh, in previous versions, we used Graphite or CarbonDB, which is a time series database. And we had um, visualization in Grafana. These are just names, and um, you could easily use this for bullshit bingo. And um, in <laughs> Should I repeat? <laughs> um, in some versions, we also used Noki, which is also a time series database. Um, if you're looking at this picture, it's ha it has a major flaw. Um, and this is, if you're using this schema, you're, it's mostly hard to do HA. You probably want to be your monitoring um, solution highly available, or you would like to, to see what's going on there. And um, we changed this architecture a bit to achieve uh, HA um, a bit more easy. Um, it is possible to have this set up in an HA way, but uh, it makes your head ache a lot, and it's not that easy to understand. So um, CollectD um, is a small agent. I'm, I'm just looking briefly at the component for the future, uh, uh, at the components for the future or proposed solution. Um, <coughs> CollectD is also part of the old one. It's a light um, agent to be installed on your computes, on your VMs, whatnot. It is Mm, aged like RHEL or Fedora. It's, it has been around s since 2005. And um, the interesting thing is it has like 80 plus plugins, you call it, 
uh, to provide you lots of data like CPU temperature, but also status of your World of Warcraft server or what, what, what do you want. It's, and also it has uh, bindings for Python, Java, and uh, Perl, and you could also execute um, external scripts. And um, the last thing, thing is it both generates both metrics and also could also emit events like, hey, your interface just went down. And this, uh, I just mentioned, um, uh, there's a sad story about having HA here. So taking a step back and collecting more tools and more uh, names for bullshit bingo, um, we, uh, we would be, or we would be using in a future version um, Kubernetes um, since we are all, uh, or we are we're trying to get all um, services deployed on a container. And also the cool thing of Kubernetes is we are just um, directing Kubernetes to run this container for us and it should take care of this container is running and I, I don't need to care about that. <laughs> 